Good evening, Mrs. Suffrage. Lord Loxley, Lady May. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. A patriotic concert organized by the only Americans left in town. Well, we may be Americans, Lord Loxley, but Selfridges is a British store, and it's very proud to play its part. Where is Harry? He should be here any moment. Please, take your seats. Mr. Crabb, can I have a word? Um, we really can't wait any longer. We'll have to begin without him. Yes. Thank you. Gentlemen, we're about to start. We have to leave now, Mr. Selfridge. T tonight? Yes, right away. We've heard the chap we want you to meet is in Berlin. He might not stay for long. I, I have a concert to attend. My wife and guests are waiting. I have a note to your wife explaining. Tell her you need to be in Paris straight away. An important supplier's in town. Ask her to explain to your employees that you'll be back in a few days. We want to reassure her and your staff. We don't want them worrying about you. And nations to eastward, and nations to westward, as for men may curse them, the omen of England. No other land can nurse them, but their motherland, old England. And on her broad bosom shall they ever... It's Harry. He's going away. Can you find out what's going on? Thank you. Thank you. This next song is for our boys at the front, but I need a little help with this one. So, which one of you lovely ladies would like to join me? I will. To mighty London came an Irish man one day. As the streets were paved with gold, sure everyone was gay. Singing songs of Piccadilly, Strand and Leicester Square. Till Paddy got excited, then he shouted to them there. Please join in, I'm sure you know it. <laughs> it's a long way to Tipperary. To the sweetest girl I know. Goodbye, Piccadilly. Farewell, Good evening, Delphine. Where are you going? I hope you're not involving Harry in anything dangerous. This has nothing to do with you. I'm off on a business trip. That's all. Please, don't worry Rose about this. She doesn't know. I won't breathe about to anyone. I'll be thinking of you. Good luck, Harry. We have to go, Mr. Selfridge. Mr. Richard Chapman and our surprise soloist, the lovely Lady Loxley. All the money raised tonight goes towards provisions for our soldiers at the front. And this next song is for them too. Thank you. Did you find him? No, he must have already left. Ye 
born. The pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone and all the flowers are dying. Can I help you? Mrs. Suffrage, I'm looking for an is Henri you, Leclerc. It is you. Henri. Must go Come with me, please, sir. And I must find. But come ye back. You're suspected of spying. What? Henri! Don't okay, touch you me. You are under arrest. Henri! Hey, don't touch me. Excuse me, there must be some sort of mistake. Stay back, miss. All right, all right. Henri. Flowers are dying, and I am dead, as dead I well may be. You'll come and find the place where I am lying, and kneel and say, and are they there for me? And I shall hear those songs you tread above me, and all my dreams will warm a sweeter me if you'll not fail to tell me that you love me. I'll simply sleep in until you come to me. Where's my husband? I'm sorry, I just assumed that he would have confided in you. Making a profit from war. Now you have the nerve to try and blame the whole thing on Harry Selfridge. Your lodger, he gives you a certain look. And men, we both know, have certain urges. You're in great danger. Victor proposed last night. I, I said yes. He's a good man. He deserves nothing less. Well, Miss Tarlow seems to worship him. Something's wrong, but spying. Stranger things have happened. It's scandalous. Utterly scandalous. Harry trusted you. I trusted you. The wait is over. Your favourite faces are back in The Only Way is Essex right now over on ITV2. And if you want to stick with drama...